dear friends this is my tutorial 42 in wasp so this is the video so update first a nip calculations okay in this video you can learn how to find how many images need for your ci nip calculation earlier ca nip video i did not mention this step so that's why i'm giving update for that ca nip calculations okay so please uh, follow this video and you can understand this uh, how to do and also you can uh, easily apply your CNF calculations okay so now I will tell you the step by step approach so how to find how many images needed for your CNF calculations okay so just I will open this notepad plus plus so I have made it for you this uh, step by step approach so just to follow this one so first you need to make sure that your VASP code is compiled with VTST tools. If not, just go to this website. Okay. So download it. VTST tool. Okay. This is the website you can download. Compile with a VASP code and you can do your CNAB calculations. Otherwise, you cannot do your CNAB calculations. Okay. So this is the very important point so okay you consider this one then step one this is the step one you need to have your initial and final structures optimized okay you should optimize your structure before going to do your ts calculations okay that is initial second one is final structures so i will show you the initial and the final structures model files just you can see that one So this is the postcard one, my initial optimized structures. So open your VTS desktop. Okay. This is the postcard one. This is the postcard two. So this is actually phosphorane ruthenium supported uh, material. So I am using a CO oxidation reactions. Okay. So this is the initial step, initial st structure. That means your uh, uh, first one, postcard one. So here you can see CO and O2 absorbed onto the metal site. Okay. So this is the product formed from that uh, two uh, O2 and O. Okay. So you can see here like this. So this is the peroxide type intermediate. Okay. So this is the product. So in between this postcard 1 and postcard 2 only you have to check how many images do you want to do your CNF calculations okay I will tell you that how to do it okay so I will tell you how to get how many images need in between the two images okay so so this is the one initial step uh, this is the first one the second step the change the name of the postcards okay postcard one means initial geometry and the postcard two is final geometry okay so then this is the important second important things just to follow okay then you have to use your vtst script that is dist pl so you can see dist dot pl this is the one of the script in there in that vtst tools so you have to use this script okay so how to do it this script okay so just you type uh, this postcard one postcard to put your uh, corresponding uh, one folder just go to that corresponding folder using your terminal that means actual terminal then type dist dist dot pl then you type your postcard one and postcard two you type uh, this postcard one postcard two then you type uh, then enter okay if you enter you will get one value so this is the that is the return value okay so uh, this is the return value okay like that you will get uh, some value you will get okay so i will tell you that next okay so if your return value is less than 5 armstrong this is actually armstrong less than 5 armstrong you can generally proceed to the next step for ca neighbor calculations okay so so if the return value is more than 5 armstrong your atomic order for your uh, initial and final structure that is postcard 1 postcard 2 may be the different so 
then you have to check your postcard 1 postcard 2 make sure that the atomic orders are same okay then you can uh, proceed okay next step then then what you have to do this is the dist pl return uh, value this is the value so you need to divide by 0 0.8 okay if you divide by that return value by 0 0.8 you will get one value okay that is a 2.17 i am getting here that means you only need the two images so if you want you can also give three but two images is enough if you are getting here three point something you can uh, put your uh, three images so if you are getting i think 2.67 then you can um, give uh, three Im Im images okay so likewise you can uh, choose your Im images So then you can uh, follow the next uh, steps, okay? Then you can uh, use your VTST script, make PL, then create the number of images. So if you want to have two images, then you have to do nibmake.pl postcard1, postcard2, and you can type two, two means two images, okay? That's all. After that, you can follow my earlier video. You can understand that easily, and you can do it your CNM calculation easily, okay? So thank you for watching my video. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment and share. And also please click the bell icon for my future video update. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Enjoy your time.